today I'm cooking egusi soup. Now there are many ways to cook egusi soup, but this is my take on a popular and delicious Nigerian soup. Right, the ingredients I'm using for the agusi today are 1 kg of lean diced beef, but you can use meat of your choice, an onion and one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning or everyday seasoning. These two I'm going to use to boil the meat. 300 grams of agusi seeds or three cups, three red sweet peppers, a hot pepper, habanero scotch bonnet, but it's always optional. Two chopped onions, a cup of palm oil. This is three quarters full, just a standard cup of palm oil. 100 grams of anchovy fillets in olive oil. A heap tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. One teaspoon of smoked paprika two tablespoons of Thai fish sauce, two handfuls of chopped spinach, and these are frozen, and four fresh leaves of spring greens. Traditionally, egusi soup is made with crayfish and smoked fish, and sometimes stockfish, but I use the anchovies, the smoked paprika and the Thai fish sauce to maintain that sort of authentic flavour. And I always say it's always good to try new ingredients or else you're missing, missing out. I'm now going to boil the beef in a pressure cooker. The beef has been washed. I always wash meat. I'm going to use an onion, add an onion and a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning or everyday seasoning. Now the pressure cooker will take pro approximately 15 minutes but if you're using a standard pot it could take 30 minutes. I'm now going to prepare the agusi while the meat is boiling. Now I like to buy whole agusi, but you can buy ground agusi. And how I clean the agusi, best to use a white plate or a white tray. And you just go through it like this. And as you're going through it, you'll be able to see those that are blemishes. And if there's anything in there that you don't really want. I mean, they're fairly clean, but you still go through it and you'll find some things that you don't want. And that's how you clean. Egusi. This one is quite clean. The egusi is clean and is going into the mill to be blended. I have put the blended agusi in a bowl and to that I'm going to add a cup of warm water and I'm going to stir it to remove any lumps and then I'm going to set it aside for later. Next I'm going to blend three sweet peppers, one hot pepper and I've added a cup of the stock water from the meat that was just boiled Alternatively, you can blend with a cup of water. I'm going to be using fresh spring greens and frozen spinach. As you know, whether vegetables are fresh or frozen, they contain nutrients and contribute to your five a day. The greens have been washed with salt and cold water. The good thing about spring greens, apart from them being nutritious, is that they're quite large. So they're easy to wash and they're also easy to chop. I'm now going to chop the leaves and then set them aside for later. The cup of palm oil 
has been on high heat for about five minutes. I'm now going to add the two chopped onions and the one heaped tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. And I'm going to fry this on high heat until the um, onions become translucent. That might take about two to three minutes. The onions have been frying on high heat for about five minutes and are now translucent. I've turned the heat from down from high to medium. I'm now going to add the following ingredients. The blended sweet peppers and the one hot pepper. The cooked beef, together with one cup of meat stock. I have some stock left over. To me, meat stock is like liquid gold, so don't throw it away. Just put it in the freezer for um, other dishes. I'm also going to add the drained anchovy fillets. The two tablespoons of Thai fish sauce and the one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And this will be on the medium heat for about five minutes. It's been boiling for about five minutes now. It's now a good time to add the agusi. The agusi is going to be boiling for 20 minutes on medium heat. It's now time to add the vegetables and they are the frozen chopped spinach, the two handfuls and the spring greens. I'm now going to stir this in and leave it on the fire for five minutes and the soup will be ready. A goosey soup is ready. A goosey soup is traditionally served with pounded yam, eba or semu in a nutshell, swallow food. But please eat your food with whatever makes your taste buds sing. <laughs>